Ladies and gentlemen, put on your hazmat suits because we're diving into the depths of Discord degeneracy and observing the most parasitic creatures that exist on Discord. E-girls. And not just normal e-girls, I'm talking about the entitled, delusional e-girls who will try to get you, a lonely man that hasn't felt the touch of a woman, to pay their bills and buy them stuff because having a job like the rest of the world is just too tough for a princess like me. Anyways, my depraved journey starts off with this TikTok, which I was sent by a viewer. It says, finessing my sugar daddy with this 100% not fake and set up conversation. But our Discord e-kitten here wants this plushie, and how much is it? $250? What the f***? And sugar daddy number three says, oh wow, that's expensive. We're just gonna pretend that there's only a sugar daddy three. One and two died in a fierce car accident. But sugar daddy number three says, check your cash app. And if we go to this person's cash app, they got sent $250 and $500 and $200. I'm gonna spend all that money on therapy. And this was all sent by the same guy, by the way. Now I was really hoping this was satire, but it turns out this person has another video that says when people realize they can just talk on Discord to make money, and they show off their cash app, flexing to people that they made $13,000 by being an e-girl on Discord. <laughs> Now these people are kind of like the Andrew Tate disease that infected men, but for women. I guess Andrea Tate or something. They're flexing all this money without telling you the truth. No one is gonna send you $400 unless you work for it. And in the case of working for it as a Discord e-girl, that means sending photos. I'm trying to say that the photos won't have any clothes in them, okay? And what that means is that this TikTok with 3.6 million views is basically this person telling 3.6 million people that they sent photos of their cooter to people on the computer. And I want to point out that there is a big issue with this. It's the fact that this video is on TikTok, which is mainly for teenagers, and anyone that has felt the depression of paying their bills would never spend $150 on a stupid f***ing plushie. This clearly is a girly girl aesthetic for teenagers, which is a recipe for disaster, but maybe I'm, you know what, maybe I'm making things up in my brain. So I went to the comments and there's messages like this. I am literally this close, I guess they're doing sign language or something, to becoming a Discord kitten because I won't that bag, baby. I can't spell, I use emojis, I have a vampire guy as my profile picture, and, and I also went to their TikTok page and, and they, they are a teenager. Anyways, I went to the Discord eKittens profile and there's a Discord server, and this is either going to be Epstein Island or it's gonna be a bunch of teenage boys and girls, because yes, boys will- I can be an e-kitten if I want to, I just want all this money. So I, I, I joined this server, and I was genuinely relieved, because in this server there is absolutely nothing about being an e-girl. It turns out those TikToks were just to advertise this piece of sh Discord server. But fortunately for me, I was looking for degeneracy, and I found it in this Discord server, because when I joined it, YagPDP gave me a message saying, join our backup server for the ban appeal and any prices and invites to our other servers. It seems like the money has dried out for that e-girl on TikTok because now they're selling rolls on a Discord server. You can pay $25 to be mod, or $170 to be owner, or $10 to get unbanned, or $20 to ban a friend. Guys, I'm gonna be honest for a second. My job is talking about about Discord. I'm on the internet basically 24-7. I am a loser. And even I'm looking at this and saying, how much of a loser do you need to be to actually spend money on any of this? Oh, and there's bundles too. What a good deal. Anyways, this whole entire Discord server was an absolute waste of time, and I needed to find a real degenerate server. So I went on Discord. Now, Discord is an unmoderated piece of garbage website filled with the most disgusting Discord servers imaginable. When I was researching this video, do you want to know the first thing that I saw when I I opened up Discord and I scrolled down. Well, I saw this server here. It has tags such as NSFW and selling uh, photos with no clothing. And the description reads, hi, I'm blank, 14 years old. What the absolute f is going on on this website. Now we aren't even close to the end of the video, but at this point I feel sick to my stomach, so I just want to see if there's maybe some weird Discord servers with some down bad fellas in it that we could just laugh about together. And while I was going through Discord, I stumbled across this tag called FinDom, and I guess I was too innocent to know what this means because I actually had to Google it. Financial domination. It's one of those intercourse DLC lifestyles in which someone gives gifts or money to someone who is financially dominant. We are getting into some freaky deaky shit. 
So I perused Discboard for the Findom tags, and I came across this Discord server here. Melanie's Banner, with a very happy anime girl. Nice, it makes you feel nice and welcome. So I joined the server, and I went into the server info channel. What is this server about? This is a community server that I made, mainly used to worship me as a dom. Such as incorporating Findom to spoil me with gifts. Oh, but you aren't obligated to participate in Findom if you're not comfortable with it. But you know, that's kind of the whole point. I just want you guys to give me free stuff. But I want to point out that there are are no other doms allowed. No, and it is non-negotiable. This Melanie lady doesn't want any of those slimy, money-stealing women to take your money. Except Melanie can do it. Anyways, getting into the mindset of someone who would send a woman money for absolutely no reason, so reduce my IQ by jumping down the stairs a little bit, I see big text saying, click link to serve me. I click on big link, and it turns out there's a Google Docs form for an application. Oh, we're really going through this. I hate myself. Welcome to Melanie's sub application form. DM me when you complete this form. A minimum of $50 must be sent along with the application form in order to be considered. You have to send $50 for an application fee. Now the theme of Melanie's Discord server is complete delusion, because if you go through this application form, they talk about what's Findom, and then there's budget dedicated to this monthly, and the minimum budget is $300 to $500 a month. Boys with $500, you could actually treat a real-life girlfriend quite well. You know, instead of sending it to some random girl on the internet, but the down bad degeneracy doesn't stop there. <laughs> Because in your application, you get to pick how you want to be treated. Do you want to be treated dynamically, like, you know, a normal human being? She will try to personally get to know you more and see if you're a good fit for each other. I like the word if. <laughs> if you're not a good fit, she's not going to bother. And if that's something you want, you could be a human ATM. I will treat you as such, and you'll just be a personal wallet for me. There are people out there that will genuinely click on this button and be excited about it. Please spend that $500 on therapy every month. Now, I'm not going to fill out this application because I actually have dignity, but I went to the server's announcements channel and ladies and gentlemen, this person is 22. I'm not going to jail! Now, 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 I just got a paycheck from a sponsor and I'm looking to spend it on some beautiful woman and to make myself feel even more empty inside. So how does this wonderful lady look? And well, there's a channel called Madame Posts. And inside this channel, there are tweets that Madame Melanie has posted. Do you want to know what's really hot? Well adjusted subs. I mean, they actually have a life outside of giving women money. Someone to just be here because they love serving women and their love to give up their finances to the prettiest girl on here, Twitter, simply because she deserves it. Translation for the people that aren't as delusional as Melanie. Melanie wants people to just give her money and actually have a life and not talk to her. Honey, Melanie, you have to work for money. That's just a constant in life. Unless you go to the casino, then you only have to work once and maybe you'll win big. Do not promote gambling. That just came into my brain. I'm sorry. She has a channel called Sends. And this sh <laughs> when I looked at this, it blew my mind, to be completely honest. Because in this channel, she lists off the things that she buys. Emotes, $160. Art, $40. Gotcha pull. You have to pay for her gambling as well? What the f- But she lists off all the things that she buys. She, she eats out quite a bit. She's sending all of these messages because she expects people to send her money to pay her back. I did not force you to spend $15 on chicken wings. Why the f- do I owe you money? <laughs> this, this is some straight sh I tell you. I don't think anyone would be stupid enough to give someone $15 for food unless she's some sort of cutie patootie. So back to the Madam Post channel we go. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold, hold on for a second. You're telling me that I'm not even sending money to a real life woman. If I sent money, I'd be sending it to a 2D anime girl? <laughs> <laughs> this could be a dude for all I know. <laughs> oh, not again. I think things are starting to click for me now a little bit because when I was going through the tweets, there was the word gens coming up a lot. Gens means generated images because if we look back at this photo, this thing is AI generated. This isn't letters. What type of card is this? You know what? Sending money to 2D anime girls, fine. But sending it to AI 2D anime girls, that's where I draw the line. <laughs> We've hit the gold mine of degeneracy right now. There's no way people People are sending this person money, right? Wait, let's see. Let's go to their wish tender, which is like where you like give people stuff for money or whatever. You have to censor a lot of these, but it doesn't seem like anyone's sending her money. All right, let's go back. Let's see throne. Throne is the same thing. You just give people stuff. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> No, no, 93 gifter. 
Guys, I mean this from the bottom of my heart as a man who also has to deal with loneliness once in a while. Sending an anime girl money won't help you at all. I don't even know if this is a girl either. This could be a dude doing this. Thankfully for me, I did stumble across this tweet, which is a voice message. This will really tell us if it sounds like AI, this could be a dude. Or it could just be a dude's voice who's really good at acting like a girl. In the meantime, I guess I could just leave a little voice note for you. I feel violent. I feel broken. I'm a shattered man. At least it's actually a girl this time. Now I just need to paint a picture for a second. But if a small tip is $10, let's assume at bare minimum this is $920. So they made $920. But then there's this message here where they talk about how Wish Tender is shutting down. And they're sad because Wish Tender has been their saving grace ever since they came back. But if Throne has $920 and Wish Tender apparently is more, how much has this person made? Ladies and gentlemen, I have this tweet for you. I tell tabulated all my sends ever since I started FinDom, and it's a five-digit amount. This person has made more than 10 thousand dollars. And if I had to guess, it's probably between twenty to thirty thousand dollars. I thought dude sending money to an AI anime girl was peak degeneracy. But nah uh bucko, we still got one more server left. And this server is with a real woman this time. It is again one of those FinDom servers where you send a girl money, but you don't get nothing in return this time. In fact, you get put in the tributes channel, where this person publicly shames you and calls you a pathetic loser for sending her money. People really like this, don't they? And you'll notice this is like $130. The next day, this is $180. Uh, the same day, $20. $185 on the same day. Yesterday, $90. There's a lot of dudes sending her money. But one of the special things about this server is the fact that it has a general chat with some absolute creatures on it that we get to look at. Oh, gee goody. And we're starting off with this fella here who just wants to vent real quick, you know? Nothing like a long day of work and venting to some random girl on the internet that you send money to. They just want to get something off their chest. They literally just got Omega scammed in real time because they sent this lady, a dom, some money yesterday for a pic and he just realized that she deleted all her messages and blocked him. This dude just got scammed out of his money and he's here again to get scammed even more. And that's just the start, baby, because there's this person here that said, I wish I had a girlfriend. You'll never get one. So work harder to find a job and make some money so you can find Fund our dates instead. <laughs> yes, goddess. <laughs> This is why you're hopeless in the girlfriend department. This server is some degenerate shit. In this conversation with this creature that, oh, this guy's a can of worms and we'll get, we'll get back to him later, is talking with Goddess Chloe. I can't, God, Goddess Chloe. I want to say it normally, but g g Goddess Chloe says, think about how hot it'll be to watch your money go into my bank account. My brother in Christ, I get depressed when I have to pay my taxes and watch my money go to the government. I don't know how you guys find this hot. You guys are f***ing. It's time to throw it back to the guy that got scammed because he sent money and the lady said, that's it? You can do better than that. I want more of your money. You heard me. Send more. If you send enough, I might reward you. So this guy sends even more money. He doubles the money because it's still not enough and doubling it is still not enough. How much money do you have? And this guy's got 15 bucks, but you need lunch tomorrow. <laughs> No, you don't. You can skip one meal. Give me your money. Chances are this dude has more than $15, but just likes being told that he can skip a meal. <laughs> this is mind numbing on every aspect. Oh, but don't you worry, because we have pure degeneracy coming up. Because this is not just a one-woman show. This girl has a boyfriend named Alpha. And what Alpha does in this server is he also humiliates people. You better pay mommy up. Alpha and I are so much better than all of you losers. We deserve all your money. I think both of y'all deserve a strong father figure in your life that is clearly missing. Uh, I'm not finished. Because this guy is saying, I could get a credit card or two for her and go into debt. Is that even a question? Of course you should open a credit card for me. Are you f***ing kidding me? Since no one here has a father figure, I guess I gotta pretend I'm one for a second. But this woman should feel absolutely gross. Goddess Chloe is being a disgusting, greedy leech of a human being that doesn't have a job and can only survive because she scams people out of money, which puts them in credit card debt. And for the men that are doing this, sending someone money for attention, not gonna fix her loneliness. Ask all the people that donate money to Pokimane. You're an idiot. For the men in the server that sent this woman money, they're even 
even worse than the girl herself. Because ladies and gentlemen, we're at the point of no return. You can turn back now and enjoy your happiness, but if you're still here, we have one final surprise in store for you. Because as I was reading the general chat, I came across this conversation where this fellow that we saw before was having like multiple pages of conversation, but it gets to the topic, of course, of this person sending money. And if you send enough money, then you'll get to see even more of my hot body. I'm just gonna put a picture of like a big fat man so we're not creeped out or anything. Please don't tempt me, goddess. I'm not one of those. W what do you mean by one of those? Oh no, please don't tell me. What in the absent father figure f is going on? 16 years old and doing all of this. What the f all those people that were sending money are not just down bad dudes. They're predators. Oh, and ladies and gentlemen, right above it, account limited, not banned, limited by Discord. In fact, I know exactly what message got her reported because in her intro channel, she had like a thing, I'm 16, I sell content. Like it was basically an admission that Discord should ban her. And what did she get? Limited. And she's coming back tomorrow to again, send illegal content. You know how Discord says they care? about this stuff deeply bull this is a child putting themselves at risk and discord just limited the account and you know what i'm gonna care for this young lady because i'm gonna send her something special it's called an ncmec cyber tip line report for putting herself in danger if discord's not gonna do anything if discord can't do anything then the feds are sure gonna do something i hope and again it should be no surprise to anyone by the way i found the server on discord i'm a young high school brat i sell super hot content yet it's still on discord and we know discord is garbage but discord Discord limiting an account that runs a f***ing fetch server. This is clearly, clearly child exploitation, and they do nothing about it. What a f***. Joke. So I want to give you guys an update, but after I recorded this whole thing, I spent the next two and a half hours reporting every single thing I could to absolutely everyone. So I reported this to the cyber tip line. Like I said, I reported all the bad servers on Discord to Discord, and I reported any bad messages directly to Discord. And it's been about 48 hours, and I want to show you what has happened and what is the outcome. Now, anytime you need to report something revolving around children in this no no material, always send something to the cyber tip line. They're not going to be the fastest. They usually focus on people like driving out to meet kids and put those predators behind bars. That's very important and time sensitive. Whereas this discord stuff, it's just a lower priority, but it's always a good idea. It's kind of like your backup plan. So with discord, I've talked about them probably about a year ago and how awful they were and how there was a bunch of bad servers. And one of their staff members reached out to me and said, if there's anything bad with a server, you want to scroll down and you want to report this server. And the thing with discord is that it says, where's the problem located? So if the problem is located in inside of the Discord server, Discord says, no, nope, not our problem. You can report this to Discord, they'll deal with it. However, if you pick the other option, where's the problem located in the listing, this is where you actually get to report the listing. But remember this one server where this person was 14 years old? Well, the listing is still up after 48 hours. Now, I'm not a very impatient guy, but when it comes to child safety, you know, making sure that 14 year olds don't get groomed on Discord, uh, my patience runs very thin, and I think 48 hours is pretty f***ing abysmal. And in terms of the server that we looked at, it's still up as well. Discord, like I said, pretty great example on how they're a piece of absolute garbage. They have, oh, you, you gotta report someone, but we don't f look at it. And finally, it's time to talk about Discord, who made probably the biggest mistake in this video. And after 48 hours, what did they do? And ladies and gentlemen, one of my reports actually went through because there was a message in the intros channel, which I, I blurred out if you caught that in the video, which had some pretty suggestive photos. And that message did get reported and did get deleted by Discord. And do you want to know what Discord did? They didn't ban Chloe to try and keep her safe and off the internet. They just limited her account for a second time. You know, I, I'd write it off if they limited the account once because they're stupid, but this just shows either incompetence or malice. But now she's still here. Uh, I'm not gonna scroll down through this thing, but again, it's just talking about adult content from someone that in their bio, again, says they're 16 years old. And this isn't even the most egregious message that I saw because when I went to the announcements, again, Alpha and I are making content, DM to request custom content. This is the definition of holy f Discord, why aren't you banning this? If it has to come to me making a video on every single problem on Discord so it can actually get reported and taken down properly, you know, not just limiting an account of a minor that's sending this shit, 
then there's a problem. You know Discord has failed as a company when the only hope we have in terms of these servers getting shut down is by some YouTube guy who makes videos about Discord and kisses people at the end of the video. Mwah!